Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, subscribe and hit the like button and it helps my channel out tremendously and I appreciate it. And I want to thank the subscribers I already have. It's amazing. I am just so, so, uh, what do I want to say, lost for words um, that just after two months I've got that many. It, it's awesome. And I appreciate it. Oh boy, do I appreciate it. Well, let's go with this one here to start off with. Sorry for the glare of my glasses like I've been repeating. Um, I just can't help it. I don't have the correct lighting yet. Hopefully I will. It's going on the third month that I've been doing YouTube videos at new. And uh, <laughs> like I said before, maybe in three more months I'll be pretty near there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sunu. S-U-N-U-N-U. Sunu. Chris Sunyanu. Here we go again. Gave left-wing NBC host Chuck Todd a reality check about the priorities of the American people during a Sunday appearance on NBC's Meet the Press. While questioning why more Americans are not concerned about supposed threats to democracy, Todd asked the moderate Republican governor why he supports an election denialist. The NBC News host was referring to Donald Bolduc, B-O-L-D-U-C, B-O-L-D-U-C, Bolduc, who is the Republican nominee for U.S. Senate in New Hampshire, who has raised questions about the outcome of the 2020 presidential, presidential election. Responding to Todd, Sananu pointed out that the very premise of his question exposes his disconnect from the priorities of the average Americans. And that's P-R-E-M-I-S-E. -E. Premise of his question exposes his disconnect from the priorities of average Americans. Let me tell you, you're in a bubble, man. I love you, Chuck. But you are in a bubble if you think anybody is talking about what happened in 2020 or talking about mar lago and all that, the Republican governor said. I know the press loves to talk about it. Sananu added, explaining, people are talking about what is happening in their pocketbooks every single day when they have to buy groceries or fill up with gas. Boy, you can say that again. Mm, 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 mm. Of course, Todd was not convinced and continued to push the Democrat narrative of the supposed dangers of questioning elections. You think this should be a prioritized over election denialism? The left wing news anchor asked. Of course. Oh my gosh, Chuck. This is hitting people. Sananu clapped back. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. If he sees me do this uh, video on Sorico. San Uno. San Uno. I'm trying. I'm trying. That's all I can say. Uh, they're having trouble paying their mortgage, he explained. They're having trouble making car payments because of bad policies out of Washington. Amen. Should they be? Look. The beauty of American system is every voter has the right and almost the responsibility to be s selfish with their vote, to vote in terms of what is best for their family, to have better choice for schools, better economic opportunities. That's awesome. Isn't that? That's good. When Todd once again tried to push back, Sananu acknowledged that election security is a serious issue, yes, and made it clear that the issue will not affect the outcome of the upcoming midterms. When you're talking about what folks are going to be voting on this November, what the top priority issues are, 
It's inflation, the economy, getting those things under control, he said. Nearly every poll confirms Sananu's assertions that Americans are more concerned with actual issues than affect their everyday lives, such as the economy rather than supposed election denial. New polls from institutions, including Gallup, ABC News, Reuters, and NBC News, have revealed the Americans' top concern is the economy. You know, I have to bring up this. Th Why is that a question? That shouldn't even be a question. Americans need help. Sure, we get food stamps, EBTs, but we need financial help. The disabled, the seniors, railroad, retired workers, you know, anybody that's retired, we need financial help. We need the prices to come down. We need gas to come down. Biden has put us in a grip hold here. What is so hard to understand about that? Oh my goodness. Oh, well, let's go on to the next one. My, 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 that shouldn't even be a question. We're hurting here in America. And then all the threats of Russia and, and China and war and all this stuff here. There should be no question what the Americans need for the shape we're in right now. The last two years, we've done nothing but dropped right down to the ditch. We're trying to crawl back out, for God's sakes. Give us some help. We need financial help. Good decisions. We need good people in Congress that aren't money hogs and keep it all for them damn selves. Oh, never mind. I'm getting excited. Excuse me. My, my followers know. Yeah, I get excited. Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. I like him. I really do. He helped out so much uh, with that hurricane. I did a video. Uh, he even went to the, after helping as much as he could with the, the um, tragedy of that hurricane, Ian, you know, he went to the Waffle House, got in that kitchen, and cooked for all the people that were hungry. Yeah, I did a video on that. I just was just floored, you know. Would you see Pelosi do that? Would you see Biden do that? Would you see his son do that? No. Mm. Okay, made an appearance during Luke Bryan's concert in Jacksonville. Brian visited Jacksonville as part of his Raise Up Right tour, which was previously postponed several times because of the effects of Hurricane Ian. This performance appeared to be much simpler than the one Brian usually puts on as he simply walked into the arena stage. The lights were simply on and there was no music playing. Instead, Brian focused on the storm that caused so much havoc across Florida before inviting the governor onto the stage. And some people wasn't even happy about that. I mean, we have been so discarded by our government, it's hard for people to be happy anymore. You know, am I speaking the truth? Leave me a comment. DeSantis then started by giving his own little speech where he talked about the hardships that rebuilding from Hurricane Ian has caused people. Yeah, it, it's, it was terrible. How them people that had no insurance on their homes to rebuild another home without going deep in debt? And the rates are up, 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 up on loans, banks, He also praised his state by saying that they can rebuild bridges in three days and nothing that, that can be easily found in other states. 
The GOP governor then encouraged everyone to head to the polls and cast their vote. The crowd interrupted and chanted, USA. DeSantis also praised Brian for his contributions to the Florida Disaster Fund. To this, Brian responded by saying that he would be giving more and that the proceeds from his show in Estero, Florida, would be given to the fund. God love him. Bless your heart, Brian. Brian recalled that the show in Estero had to be rescheduled because the venue was used as a shelter, but they would still be doing the show and everyone who had brought it, bought a ticket could attend. All the money from those tickets would be given to the state of Florida. You know, what is that saying? If you do one good deed, ten deeds will come back to you, or it will come back to you tenfold, you know. God love these people. These two men, you know, that was awesome. That was just fantastic. All right. I am going to uh, take a break. Yes. And um, I shall be back uh, later on. I'm trying to catch up on my videos because I was gone for a week. And uh, so uh, I'm just glad to be back and see all my friends and my subscribers and new subscribers yes and um, I always say you know um, just keep your faith things have got to start coming up to our ways pretty soon these two years have practically destroyed us with all the war threats and all that other stuff going on mercy sakes alive just you know, it's your choice who you vote for. You know, everybody's got the right to do what they think is right. Yeah. So, I will be back. And you are a blessing. Let me find my camera button here. There we go. Laters. <laughs>